This here is a beautiful 1991 Jaguar XJ6 in the Sovereign model. Um, and in my opinion, the most beautiful color they make, the British Racing Green. Chrome on this car just blings like there ain't no tomorrow, shiny as can be. I'm going to go ahead and do a walk around here and show you everything on the car and give you a good picture of how it looks from afar and stuff. And then I'll get in up close and show you the blemishes and flaws on it where you can see what you're buying. Starting up in the front here, we got a McDonald's cup blown around. Got a broken lens here. And a cracked lens there. A couple rock chips. Ding in the grill. A couple scratches here. I'm just going to say that that one's cracked too because there's some moisture in it. Um, these little rubber things here are drying up and stuff. And don't look as great anymore. Um, on the top roof, your clear coat or something is fading and peeling or whatever. Not peeling actually, just fading and going away. Um, there's a ding back here. Ding. Dent. I'm going to call this one a dent. Um, you really can't tell from a ways back, but it's there and it's very noticeable up from close. On the deck lid, no, those are not clouds on this paint job. It's the same as the roof. But that's really the only areas that have that is the roof and the trunk. Uh, there's a little bit on the hood I'll show you here in a sec. That's broken on the antenna. Chrome is just spectacular condition. Just a hair right there, it wasn't a scratch. And as far as the outside goes, besides this here on the hood, just figured the top surfaces have some clear coat peeling. And that's pretty much the only thing wrong with it on the outside besides them couple dents. Wheels are beautiful. I'd say the tires are about 90% tread. They got little titties all over the side of them and everything. The, um, there's three chrome wheels and one magnesium wheel. All factory Jaguar. Just three have the California package and are chromed and the other one isn't. Open it up and show you the inside now. The door panels are in great condition. The flooring, the pedals and all that are all great looking. There's a hole there under the accelerator. The wood trim for the most part is good. This piece here is peeled off and missing. On the seat you've got a little wear on your lumbar support here. And this is torn into right there. Yeah, there you go. And center console pad has been sewn over so I can only imagine that it's not good um, everything seems to work the wood is kind of peeling up there it's cracked on here as you can see still looks very good dash is beautiful in great condition go ahead and start it up for you she reads 122 26 The anti-lock brake light and that one up there for some kind of bulb being out is on. Car runs great, shifts great, runs a little rough at an idle, needs some kind of a tune-up or something I'll bet. Needs the code for the radio. The fan and everything works but it does not blow cold like it should. Sunroof works, and all the windows work. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the back seat now. You know, I'm going to show you this too. This is a little chewed up like they do on Jags, especially on the driver's one. There's a dent right there. Ding. That one, I'll see that one is a ding.
You know, I'm wondering if the power locks work. They don't seem to want to. They work. There we go. Hang on. Yes, they do. And they unopen when you open your door. I did this yesterday and I actually locked the keys in here while it was running. Thank God the hood was open, which I'll do again now. This is where I can show you under it. We had to call a locksmith and that wasn't very fun. Back seat doesn't even look like it was set in. Wow! Realized I didn't show you the little kitty cat. And I like to show the panther on these. Even the package tray up here. Great condition. Leather one, they're usually carpeted. It's pretty cool. Um, the headliner in the back. Front looks great, but from here, like the sunroom back. It's just hanging. Might be able to be fixed. I don't know. Uh, might need to have it replaced. Trunk's in great condition. Has your six disc factory Jaguar CD changer. All the original patty and stuff has kept this in great shape. I don't know what that is. A little somewhere back here. You know, it could use a really good buffing. Um, I'm sure to buff out nice, we really didn't detail it much. Just kind of washed her up and here we are. Oh, and this wheel here has some pitting on it. I don't know if it would buff out or not. Tires, like I say, 95%. I'm well, I'm going up. That's a little little tab that wears off within like a couple hundred miles still on there. I mean, I believe they're just as new as can be. Um, this has never happened. But the huh, lock must have just been caught. The door didn't want to open there. That's never happened to me. But, and I'll try it out again just to make sure. The carpet's missing on this side. A little floor mat. It's a floor mat type carpet, so it's really easy to get. And the vent's miss missing here. And like I say, even though the heater and air conditioner motor blows just as hard as can be, there ain't no um, cold air coming out. Yeah, that works. It's a little catchy on the handle. Seatbelt part is missing. Shoulder strap, I guess you call it. You know what? No, it's not. It's right there. A little button is missing, but it's there. I just seen that as it closed, and I like to be totally up front and let you know what you're getting here. I don't want you to have any surprises. Uh, like I believe there's a small rock chip there and there. That's a serious. It was a Colvia dealer services retail or trade-in type thing. Probably the best motor Jaguar has ever made is this 4.0 straight six. It's so torquey, so powerful. I have to change the battery out it's the wrong size, so I gotta get that put back on. But I mean, under the hood, it's just beautiful. Lights don't work under the hood. Let me go ahead and show you the other side here. That's about it. You can check out my website. It's serialmarshmallows.com. Click on blog and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. Um, make sure and check out my other videos here on YouTube and subscribe to me to where you get a little email or something every, when I add some cool stuff. I always get lots of Euros and Classics in, lots of muscle cars, old stuff, and I sell it cheap and fast so I can get some more. Give me a call anytime. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919 and thank you much for watching. Goodbye.